it's Vina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to show you guys all of the cameras that I've used for YouTube. So I thought this would be fun to do because you don't actually get to see what cameras people are, don't really get to see what cameras people are using when they're filming their videos because you only see them when they're filming because they're like... <laughs> filming themselves and stuff like that so I'm gonna get started because I thought this would be fun to do because I think a lot of people are curious to see what other what cameras people are filming with and I think it would be fun to show you guys the cameras that I've used throughout the years for YouTube so I'm gonna get started so the first camera I used was my iPad this is my iPad as you can see it's not really the case is not really in the best of condition it's all faded out and old my dad got this for me for my 21st birthday and I love using this it's one of my favorite um it's one of my it was one of my favorite cameras sadly like two years after I got it my uh, YouTube app stopped working so I had to plug it in to upload which was kind of like um which I didn't mind at all but then for some weird reason the reason just recently a few months ago the cord just stopped working and I just could no longer use it because it does I've actually tried getting on the internet with this a few times it doesn't go on the internet anymore I think it's just because it's an old iPad and I've had it for like um a really long time since I was 21 years old and a lot of you guys know I used to film with this for YouTube and a lot of you guys would never see it because I would be filming with this and I really enjoyed it because it was super fun to film with and stuff and then the YouTube app stopped working like one year after I had it so I had to start plugging it in to upload and stuff because it wouldn't upload straight from you straight to YouTube anymore it would like just like uh, I just had to start plugging it in to upload yeah The next camera I had, please ignore that that's Daisy barking, was my Google Chromebook. Um, I only use the camera, I barely use the camera on this thing because this, the camera only would let me take videos for like a minute and then it would stop recording. I don't know if I had it on a recording timer or something. I just didn't know how to work a camera on this thing. I actually tried reading a book, making a book reading video on this and it would, uh, the camera would stop recording after one minute. And I just did not like using this camera due to the fact it would only let me take one minute videos videos it was okay and i think the lighting on this video was actually the camera was actually okay as well well it just wasn't the best camera another camera ignore that that's daisy barking i apologize okay i'm just going to talk through the barking anyway so i had another camera it was, um, let me see if I can find it really quick. So unfortunately I can't find a camera. I forgot what kind of camera it was. I can't remember the name of the camera, but it was an actual camera. And it was my first real camera for filming. And, um, I liked it, liked it. But the only downfall I did have with it is I didn't know how to work the timer on that camera. Because it was a super old camera. It would only let me take videos for like two minutes and then it would stop recording. And I couldn't get it to work unless I got it on a timer and stuff. And then I couldn't get, and I tried uploading with it it just wasn't worth it because the camera did just literally only let me take like five second videos and stuff and it just wasn't worth it to use use because like it just was not the best camera it only let me like take like 10 to 20 second not five seconds 10 to 20 second videos and it was just kind of annoying so it just wasn't worth it either the next camera I had was my webcam. This I don't use this very much, the cam the camera on this very much anymore, due to the fact that I got a tablet, which is what I'm filming with right now. And I like this camera a lot better than my old Chromebook camera, which I have right here. Um, because due to the fact it um lets me film longer videos. When I use that camera, it literally would only let me take like 20 second videos and then it would just like not 20 second one minute videos and it would stop recording this one would let me record longer videos and i thought the quality was a lot better on this camera and it worked like really well really well and i really enjoyed this camera and stuff and it was just a great camera and i just enjoyed the fact that it um would let me take longer videos because i've never filmed actually with a webcam before because like my webcams like my webcam on my macbook i had no idea how to work my webcam on my Chromebook, my old Chromebook, that would only let me take, like, again, like, one-minute videos. And this, but this one lets me take, like, longer videos, which I really think is cool. Because, um, 
because like I always like to film long videos for you guys, but not too long so you don't get bored. But I like filming videos for you guys. Guys, and then just in case they get long, I need to make sure the video, sure um, I have enough time, enough space to film a long video for you guys. Guys, right. okay. And then my final camera that I'm using right now is my Sam, my Samsung tablet. So I don't have. So I'm actually filming with the tablet, which is why I don't have it. Um, on me right now but um this is the box that it came in i got this off amazon and this was good because i needed an actual sit down and uh, camera i could sit down and film with besides just my webcam because i don't mind using my webcam it's just sometimes the quality is not really the best with webcams even though that webcam is a great quality i just wanted a camera that i didn't have to keep taking up and down the stairs all the time which i think is good because i needed kind of a lightweight camera because um, my camera on my um my um my um computer my computer is a bit annoying to kind of come take up and down the stairs all the time to film a youtube video video and the reason behind why i had to do that was because my internet was weird at the time because it would only work downstairs and not not upstairs my um internet works fine now so i had and so this is then i didn't have to keep carrying it up and down the stairs stairs with my camera and this just made it a lot easier because this is lightweight for me and I think that's great. Great and I really enjoy this. This is called the Samsung Tab S4 in case you guys are wondering and you guys should check it out in case you don't want to use a real camera and stuff because it works really well. I love this thing. I've been filming with it for like the past couple weeks now instead of just using my computer because it just was such a pain to like take my computer up and down the stairs in order to film a YouTube video. But I really like this camera. It's a great camera yeah, and it works really, really well. Okay, so that was those were all of the cameras I've used for YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!